What's up, Galfer crew? This is Clint Lund with Galfer USA, and today, guys, we're going to be doing an install and an overview of the 270 and 280 rotor kits from Galfer USA. Obviously, if you have a dirt bike, then you know how important it is to use an oversized rotor, and um, we're going to show you how our kits come from Galfer USA here. So first off, opening your box, it's going to seem nicely packaged. We always see a little bit of swag from us in there. Inside for the Yamaha, we're going to be using FD-164 G1396 pads. And uh, obviously you need the little bracket that uh, spaces the rotor and the caliper so it fits for the oversize. Here's the front rotor. This is, like I said, our 270. 270 is an extremely good upgrade for your 260 stock rotors. Uh, it has so much more grab than an OEM rotor. And we'll get into that here in a second, but this is our drilled, slotted, and uh, floating assembly. Here's our subject. This is my Yamasaki, we call it. It's a KX500, and that's installed into a YZ450 frame. Here you can see my rotors are extremely spent. They're done, they're dust, and it's time for them to be changed out. There's a huge lip on them, and it's just a solid front and rear rotor assembly. Here's the pads that we're gonna be putting on. These are our centered compound. It's great for your everyday rider. Um, for one day you might be riding the tracks, and the other one the trail. It, you know, it's good for all different facets. So installing your front caliper bracket is super, super easy to do. Make sure and use Loctite and grease according to your owner's manual and torque all your bolts accordingly with your owner's manual as well. That's gonna ensure that you don't strip any threads. Um, installing the brake line, all of our lines are pre-cut, ready to fit, and they fit like a dream too. They really do. We're using a stainless steel line on this one with a white coating on the outside to kind of complement the looks of our Yamasaki uh, 500. Here's our stock rotor. As you guys can see, it's grooved, it's lipped, it's horrible. Putting on the new Galfa rotor changes everything. Now we are from a 260 to a 270. What does that get you in size? Well, here you go. 10 millimeters all the way around. And why does it matter to have a bigger rotor in your front? Well, you got to think of it in RPM. A smaller disc is going to be a higher RPM through your brake pads. That means more pad heat and more rotor heat. With a larger rotor, you have a larger contact surface and a slower RPM. Not to mention our drilled and slotted rotors. They shed heat faster than anything else on the market especially with the aluminum carrier in the middle it acts as a giant heat sink for the disc itself so our pad temps are going to stay very very low here's a little close-up shot of the pad contact area it fits perfect here from galfer when you put this all together it's always going to fit perfectly and it looks absolutely factory it looks amazing so I'm really looking forward to getting this thing on the dirt again and feeling it. So evacuating your old uh, oil from your brake system is pretty bad, right, Ryan? It's pretty bad? Yeah, he agrees. It's bad. So you want to make sure and get all your old oil out. Use uh, Galp. We sell oil here at Galp for USA. Dot 4 is always recommended for motorcycles. Uh, remove all your old equipment, clean the calipers, clean the master cylinders, and you guys will be off to the races in no time. Installing your rear lines is super easy. Simply start at the rear where the caliper is and work your way to the front first. We found this the easiest way to do it as far as getting your cable inside the guides, getting everything lined up. Torque your banjos to your factory recommendations in your owner's manual. Evacuate your system of all air, introducing your new dot for oil. And in no time, like I said, you'll be off to the races. Guys, this rear rotor was absolutely trashed. It has lips, it has grooves. It just is not doing the job anymore. So we're going to remove this old crusty thing and throw on our brand new 420 stainless steel, uh, virgin stainless steel too, meaning it's not recycled stainless steel. It's brand new. The OEM rotors on almost every bike is going to be cast iron. That's how you'll see all that rust all over it. Our rotors are from 420 stainless steel. You will not get that rusting. And these rotors will outlast an OEM rotor 10 to 1. So installing your new rotor, make sure you torque to new spec. Use new hardware if you can. We really, really um, recommend that you guys use new hardware as uh, 
if you have a failure in one of these bolts, it backs out, it could damage your equipment, costing you a lot of money. So use new hardware. It's cheap, it's easy, and uh, it looks great too. Obviously putting new hardware inside your brake equipment, it makes everything look brand new. So sliding this thing into the bike, you'll start to see this wonderful package come together here. Um, you guys, I can't stress to you enough, uh, brakes, they were just they're so overlooked on on our motorcycles we we abuse them they're one of the most abused parts on a motorcycle and it's very very important that we stay up on these things because stopping is half the problem you know first everyone worries about power well you got to slow down all that power and that's where you got to use some good quality brakes guys you got to check us out on our website www.galforusa.com it's a brand new website go check it out obviously follow us on all of our social media accounts we're on facebook we're on instagram and we're always having fun doing really really fun stuff with our products uh which some people would call a little bit crazy but hey we like to have fun over here we like to build crazy bikes and uh using some of the best equipment in the world check us out guys thanks a lot for stopping by today and we'll see you at the track or the trail